This what is our else? stupid reactions. This is called be stupid. I can tell you right now. This is gonna be a win-win. I can tell you already. I support this this speech. <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions idiot time. Corbin is with me as always is this stupid idiot named Rick. I love my stupidity. Please follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. And today we'll be reacting to a very long video, but a very, very, very requested video. Mm -hmm. um, it's so, Veer Doss's uh, Knox College speech uh, called Be Stupid. We yep. reacted to uh, some of his stand up on Conan. I'll link that right here. Bang! Uh, but this one was the most requested. Uh, and I think it went viral it, yeah. a couple months back. A while back. I don't think I watched it. And I'm glad we haven't seen it yet because this is appropriate for our channel. Yeah. And it's about 20 minutes long, so yeah. pull up a chair. Strap in! Let us know if you make it to the end. <laughs> Plug in your charger. <laughs> Here we go. But apart from my first love, I also write jokes. Now, here's how you write a joke. You take a fact a situation or a person and you ask yourself a question just any question what if how about could they what if why don't and then you add one stupid thing that's it that's all the joke is one stupid thing you add it and you have a joke now when you spend your whole life like me looking to write down one stupid thing you often find yourself doing it and that's what I came here to talk to you about tonight looking for and doing just one stupid thing. Because if you really look around, it's very easy to find. Let's begin with today. This whole ceremony is stupid. <laughs> it is. It is stupid. We are in the heat dressed like obese silkworms. <laughs> we are wearing hats that you do not have the facial structure to pull off. <laughs> like none of you have jaw lines, most of you won't too much corn in your diet. <laughs> A comedian is standing where Lincoln and Obama and Clinton and most importantly Eva Longoria once. <laughs> I love him. At the end of this, I get to call myself Dr. Das, <laughs> making me the only Indian doctor in the world with zero credibility. <laughs> I'm stupid. This is stupid. You're stupid. God, you're so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why this is so wonderful. That's my message to you today. Be stupid. Yeah, baby. Just once, really often. Because when you embrace the stupidity in your life, you really live. Right on. The dictionary defines stupidity as a person or situation that showcases a lack of common sense. I submit to you that common sense is overrated. <laughs> and much worse than that, it's common. Nice. Did you like that? I like that. That's like my thug life moment in the speech. <laughs> I feel like when the YouTube clips come out, it'll be like me saying, it's common. I'm sorry, you deserve better. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> so here's the question. How do you be stupid? By doing what we just did, by taking 20 seconds before you enter a situation to consider what is ridiculous about it and laughing and letting that courage, because that's all laughter is, it's courage leading you to do one stupid thing. Now I know what you're thinking, Veer, this doesn't sound realistic, but I submit to you that neither is life. Life is not realistic. Life is bold and painful and ecstatic and overwhelming. Why are you trying to cope with that with tepid emotions in your pocket? Mm. You're a beast. <laughs> be dramatic, be bold, but first be stupid. Right on. And start really small. Be stupid in meetings. Most of your life from now on will be spent in meetings. <laughs> meetings, guys, are where people pretend to be interested in other people because they're actually interested in things. <laughs> Take a second before you go into these meetings and think about how ridiculous they are. Then go in there and say the one thing that you are not supposed to say. Yeah. Best case scenario, you win them over. Worst case scenario, you are fired, <laughs> jobless, homeless, but still memorable. Oh. I promise you, no one remembers the people who agreed with them. If a bald Indian man with spectacles turned around one day and said, hey, we should be an independent country, and everybody around him just went, yeah, all right. He'd just be known as Mohandas. But because people disagreed with him and he had to fight, he's now known as Mahatma Gandhi. Great point. Be stupid in love. Get your heart broken. Shoot for way above your league. Say outrageously romantic things. Propose after a week. Go big, go 
home, probably alone, but <laughs> probably. The worst thing that could happen is what? You get a reputation as somebody who is mushy or clingy or needy. And as you get older, you'll realize those words actually mean generous and bold and needy. <laughs> I once wrote down 101 reasons why I loved a girl and I stood in her garden and yelled them to her window like an angry stalker Romeo. That's awesome. Just, I love the way the brown light hits your eyes. And by point 24, that girl told me she was seeing somebody else. Hmm. It didn't work out, but I promise you this. Any time in that life, in that girl's life that she sees a list, be it grocery or to-do, She's going to think, hey, Veers was bigger. Mm. Probably the only situation in her life where she might think that. <laughs> <laughs> Send stupid emails. I'm serious. End your emails with things like, yours hungrily. <laughs> and my favorite, XO, XO, dollar, dollar, hash, hash, pound, pound, and that you with the colon above it that makes it look like you hit your keyboard really angrily or typed in German or both. I like to use abbreviations that people can't understand. I end my emails with ha 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 ha, L-O-M. <laughs> Just to leave people wondering, laugh out mouth? <laughs> They'll either love your emails or hate them and show them to everybody, but either way they will be looking forward to them. Every day do one stupid thing with your body, just one, no matter how your body ends up looking. Those are just phases in your life that are dictated by how lonely you are, what magazines you are reading and whatever the Kardashians are doing. But I'm saying jump for no reason, dance yes. badly, never underestimate the power of a pelvic thrust in a public place, yeah. play with your body, play with your body, it will save your heart when you are losing your mind. Wow, I swear to fantastic. God, once a week I come out of the shower with nothing but a towel on and I make direct eye contact with my wife and I say, yes I am. And then I drop the towel and sing, born free, <laughs> as free as the wind blows. And then I prance around the room naked like a lion in Africa. <laughs> I'm five foot eight, I have no muscles, my body looks like it was designed in Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> If my wife ever finds herself in the presence of another naked man, hey, he may be the flavor of the month, but I'm the king of the jungle, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You think old people regret the push-ups they didn't do, the keto they didn't follow? No, they regret the puddles they didn't jump in, the lifts mm. they didn't fart in, the trees they didn't fall out of, the beds they didn't dive into. There's wisdom in your mind and truth in your heart, but God, there's beats in your ass and fun in your crotch and magic <laughs> in your hands. I say find it every day. That's He's freaking awesome. Be yeah, yeah. stupid Hilarious. in failure and in success. On the day you lose all of your money, buy yourself an expensive glass of champagne. On the day you become a millionaire, go out and have a 79 cent cheeseburger. Mm. Show yourself and the universe that this moment does not own you, you own on. this moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's worth applause. He is fantastic. Yeah, I prefer his voice to yours, so shut up. Shut up. Be stupid in friendship. <laughs> your friendships are going to change at 4 p.m. today. Crap. You're going to lose yeah, people that you are completely yourselves with and run into this world of adults. These adults that you will talk about paying bills and having kids with. But I say to you, you need to retain these people who you talk about splitting bills and making kids with. Never outgrow these people. Keep them in your life. Do what it takes. Show up at 4 a.m., beat up the douchebag boyfriend, open up your couch. Even though everybody tells you to outgrow them, don't because outgrowing them means growing up and what's the fun in that? Some of my best friends, we don't meet each other more than once a year, but there's not a thing I wouldn't do, a flight I wouldn't take if I got that phone call. I met them here at this college. They are sitting over there. We smoked cigarettes over there for four years, <laughs> and we will be at Cherry Street later tonight. <laughs> we have no money. Buy some old people a drink, please. <laughs> Be a stupid person in the bedroom. I'm not saying put yourself at risk, but once you're in the bedroom, if you're not laughing, that's just not good sex. <laughs> and if you're laughing too much, <laughs> or just one of you is laughing, <laughs> also not good sex. <laughs> My personal strategy, don't worry about performing, worry about amusing. Tell a joke, ask a question. Try something, try something new. Apologize when it doesn't happen. 
admit that you were trying something, tell a joke, ask a question, repeat. Be stupid in sickness. Write your will and testament when you have the common cold. Be dramatic about that shit. <laughs> you might learn something about yourself, like who you actually want at your bedside when that moment comes. Most of you, God willing, are going to have long and healthy lives. But when your body starts to fail you, be stupid so the people around you suffer less. Mm. <clears throat> My grandfather was the greatest man I ever met. On his 90th birthday, when his entire family <coughs> gathered around to pay tribute to him, 300, 400 of us, in the middle of the third speech, my grandfather looked at me and went, <coughs> shut it down. He wasn't pissed off. There was an ice cream station 200 meters to his right. <laughs> he picked a vanilla ice cream over the celebration of his own legacy. <laughs> now that's a goddamn legacy. <laughs> Be stupid in your grief. You're going to lose people and you, use, you do them a huge disservice if you don't laugh at them when they are gone. Mm. Be stupid in arguments. You know, you're going to argue with people about remote controls and, and about home delivery and, and what to name your children. Sidebar, if you name your children after fruits or location that is child abuse, please stop. <laughs> but in those arguments, you will say many, many things that you regret. And hopefully, if you throw one stupid thing in there, if you're lucky, that's all you will remember about that argument. When my, my, my wife yells at me, I like to sing songs. <laughs> that's what I do in fights. She's yelling, I'm like, let it go, let oh, it go. Oh, oh, it was way before we met. <laughs> and in those moments, my wife looks at me like Ma Anand Sheila looks at people from Oregon. But I don't care, because in that moment, I'm doing a violin solo, and I need some time. <laughs> Speaking of which, always have music in your ears. You're the star of your own movie, please pick the soundtrack. Right on. And if your soundtrack doesn't include one stupid, uncool song that makes you feel awesome, you are not having enough fun. For me, Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet? <laughs> and Firework by Katy Perry. <laughs> I do not know what... Ah, ah, is a why it shoots across the sky, 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 but it makes me feel awesome. <laughs> Be stupid with your politics because your politics are already undoing you in that department. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Whether you are red, white, blue, right or left, you know more about politics than any generation before you. The question is, can you do more? Mm. How much a leader sticks around is no longer a testament to his abilities, it is a testament to your tolerance. That's how long the leader stays. Yes. Great line. Great line. That's so true. So how much can you take and what are you willing to do? Are you stupid enough to take the day off to join the march? Mm -hmm. Empty your account for the underdog candidate. Stand not with, not alongside, but in front of somebody who is not your kind because they happen to be in danger. Be stupid with your social media because I have to tell you that validation isn't real. Mm. Be careful. Yes. You don't have to broadcast fantastic lives that you aren't actually living. That's absolutely right. What people think about you is none of your business. Don't pollute your moments with other people's opinions. Yeah. Good. Applause for that. Think about this moment that you're in right now. The sun is in your face, you are hungover, there is sweat <laughs> dripping into your ass crack. You are trying to decipher what the Indian accent is saying. This is a real moment. Do you really need the thumbs up on Facebook to make you think that this moment happened? Come on. I'm not saying don't tweet, don't Instagram, don't Facebook. I'm just saying when you do, do it without a filter, with a funny face, and never, ever, ever read the comments. <laughs> never read the comments. Okay, when you are reading the comments, yeah, please, right, that's right, that's right. Do not reply to the comments. <laughs> okay? When you are replying to, to the, the comments, comments, please, do not be condescending and defend yourself. Do not feed the troll. That's all I have to say. Great statement. Don't feed the troll. When you are feeding the troll, <laughs> what I like to do is, is agree with the troll right up top and then disagree with them and drop the mic. <laughs> it confuses them. What I like to go is, you know, yes, I know my face looks tired and haggard. I woke up fresh in the morning, but then I read your bio twice. <laughs> yes, 
I know I've put on a little weight. It's all that money I've been making. You'll find out someday. Hashtag the struggle is real. <laughs> Oh yes, I know my last movie flopped, much like your mom did. Never mind. Right. Oh! <laughs> Be stupid with your money, please. You're going to lose lose it all anyway. Yeah. Governments change, businesses die, economies crash. That's life. But if you want that one thing for yourself, that one stupid thing, that bedazzled Tesla, that monogram pit bull. <laughs> That antique nineteen twenty three iPhone. I think you should have it. I spent my whole life not spending my money. My bankers used to come to me every day, and they were like, "Mr. Das, you have all this money. You need to make your money work for you. So you need to circulate all of your money." And I was like, "No, because this money was circulating before it was mine." <laughs> you know how many big jokes I had to write to stop this money from circulating? <laughs> and I still lost all of my money. What's the worst that could happen? You lose your cash, you go broke, and you end up feeling like you do right now. You look pretty happy to me, and you guys are financially screwed right now. <laughs> That's great. You are bankrupt. <laughs> you gave this college two hundred thousand dollars. They didn't even give you a tent, ladies and gentlemen. All right? <laughs> All of them laughing by me. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> So spend on that one stupid thing for yourself, except Bitcoin because that shit isn't real. <laughs> be stupid with your ambition. Sure, you want to be a billionaire, CEO, bottle service, but is there one stupid thing that you want to do? Do you want to learn to roll sushi, do krav maga, be a jazz drummer? You are never too old to learn a skill or a hobby. You are just too old to be good at it. <laughs> But I promise you, if you take up one of these stupid things, you would work harder and be much more fulfilled by it. Taking the escalator to the higher office is very, very easy, but playing the intro to Stairway to Heaven—that shit is hard. Come on. I don't have kids, but I say be stupid with family. Nobody has perfect childhoods. Remember that, including the kids you're about to have. So forgive your parents, love your parents, and do one stupid thing with your parents. One more. When you are done teaching them what Alexa is and paying the bills and putting their teeth by the table, do one more stupid thing. Hit the strip club, smoke a joint, play gin, drink gin, whatever you like, but do it. In my house, we drink tea. We have many cups of tea because more tea means more conversation. We have three, four, five cups in a row, and then we tell each other it's getting late, and we go to sleep and can't sleep because we're too caffeinated. <laughs> then we wake up in the morning and drink more tea because of how sleepy we are. That's my house. Just wide-eyed, clockwork orange pico Darjeeling drinkers <laughs> with jittery arms and like shaky conversation. My house is a crack house with great conversation. Everybody will tell you that you can't choose your family. That's bullshit. You can't pick your family, but you can choose them every single day, or at the very least, you can choose another cup of tea. <laughs> the final thing I'll tell you is, if you're an artist, be stupid in your art. Yeah. You must. Where did I learn to do that? Here, at Knox College. I had never written a joke before in my life. It was 2 a.m. I was in Seymour Library. Writing a paper for Roy Anderson's class, and something happened. I decided I was going to be a comedian. I printed 100 posters using the copy code from the from the Career Center. Thank you, Terry. Uh, <laughs> for a show called Brown Men Can't Hump. <laughs> It's not offensive. We have 1.3 billion people. Clearly, somebody's humping. All right. <laughs> But at 2 a.m., I plastered Seymour and the other buildings with those posters. I hadn't written one joke yet, but the poster was up, which meant I had to come through. Ah! Oh. I gave myself a month and a half, and I wrote 90 minutes of what barely qualified as jokes. And the first time I ever did stand up was at Kresge over there for 500 of my friends. And from that day onwards, I was a comedian. That's awesome. Because of one stupid thing. That's awesome. A poster at 2 a.m. A stupid thing. A poster that was the answer to the question: Hey, what if there was a brown George Carlin? <laughs> And at the end of my routine, there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> And there never will be. It's been 16 years 
16 years later, this college asked me to come back here and stand where Lincoln and, and so many qualified people stood. I don't know. Maybe I'm your one stupid thing. So I want to thank you for this honor. I'd like to thank Ivan Davidson and Liz Metz and Bob Whitlatch for changing my life in a real, tangible way. It's time for me to go home now, to my home in Slovenia, a beautiful country in once communist Europe. So before I leave you today, I say, be stupid. Just once, often, unapologetically and deliberately. What's the worst thing that could happen? Somebody will call you stupid? Somebody will tell you that your whole life is a joke? I'm saying you should be that somebody. I'm saying you should own it. And on the day when your life flashes before your eyes, be it on your deathbed or just creepily every day on Instagram, <laughs> you'll be laughing. And laughter is courage. That's all I know how to tell you. I have no wisdom. I'm a comedian. I just want to see you laugh some more. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. My name is Veer Das. All the best. Have a wonderful future, guys. He is fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, his stand up was great, and that yeah. is so deep. It brilliant. Was hilarious, but so many points made that were just incredibly profound. Profound. And deep. Truth. Deep. Um, just yeah. the, the mix of hysterically funny mm -hmm. and then immediately into deeply profound truth. Mm -hmm. Just fantastic. Yeah, I love that about just. It's partly the reason I named the channel what I did. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we, we are, we, I don't know how to explain this. We, we are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, proud of it. No doubt. And proud um, of it. But we, we, when I made this channel, I asked him, I was like, hey, do you want to make a stupid YouTube channel with me? <laughs> and he's like, sure. Yep. <laughs> and then we started doing reactions and it just kind of fit that it was called our stupid reactions because I was like, I don't know who wants to watch this, but this is going to be stupid and yep. I hope you enjoy it. Because we're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was great. Thank you for the recommending it to us. Yeah. It was wonderful. Uh, I could watch that again. Yeah. Um, and and, and, and he, he deeply resonates. The profound things he's saying deeply resonate with both of us and our core values mm -hmm. about life, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just... He nailed it on the head in so many ways. And I'm, you know what I'm discovering too? Mm. That that's not just his take on things. I mean, the whole be passionate, be expressive, but remain respectful when you do that. That's, that's India, man. Mm -hmm. that, the time that we're getting to know you guys and know your culture and, and know who you are, especially the messages that you send, you guys are just freaking beautiful. Yeah. The, the celebration of life and the color and the passion and the emotion. Don't take yourself too With, seriously. Yeah, you don't take yourself... It's the combination of you do and you don't. On yeah. the one hand, there's this profound pride. pride for what you do. And at the same time, you don't say you're better than anybody. It's just yeah. beautiful, man. Yeah. Just beautiful. So that was great. If you uh, made it to the end of this, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a like and say, uh, hashtag, you're stupid, idiots. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stay stupid, stupid nation. If you made if you made it to that far, please let us know that you did, and thank you so much. Yeah. Please let us know what other videos, if they're from him, if they're from somebody else like this. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to see anything like this, not just trailers. So please let us know. And uh, as always, be stupid. Yeah. Because stupid backwards is de poots. Also, you're an idiot for watching this. <laughs>